Hi, my name is Paulette Deckers and I'm the owner of the Northwest Bridal Showcase and today I am with Jeff Watts of Pacific Party Canopies and we are going to discuss with you what he feels are the most five important tips of planning a wedding or an event. So Jeff, what is the number one thing on your list? Vision. Vision, okay. Vision. Uh, it's important that people know what they want to do and how they want to accomplish it, whether that be a location, a backyard, or uh, a, a venue, a mm -hmm. golf course or something like that. Right. And so by vision, are you talking strictly about like them going out to um, different uh, magazines and online stuff and kind of getting an idea in their head about what they want the overall theme of the wedding to be? I think it's, it, it fits into location. What's, what, is that, what is that location? What is the backdrops that you want to have in, in your, in your uh, event? Um, also, how do you want it laid out? Right. How does the, how does, how does how you're going to put it together, how does it fit in the location that you're going to be using? Is it gonna, okay. Does it uh, complement the location? You know, how are we going to make that work for you? Right. And the themed weddings, too, are kind of a big deal. I've noticed um, on the Pinterest boards and stuff like that where you might have a wedding out in a, um, maybe a farm or, or, you know, a field somewhere with the big trees and then you've had chandeliers hanging down. Maybe you need a tent or something, a large mm -hmm. area to keep you covered just in case of weather protection. So vision for you just means kind of the whole picture. Get an overall picture of what it is that you want to do and how you want it to look. All right, all right, and that's great. Any any suggestions on how the girls can go about doing that? Or well, there's a lot of information, like you say, you already brought up Pinterest. Pinterest, yeah. Yeah, um, and that's that's good and bad because sometimes uh, <laughs> right. sometimes things that are on Pinterest are not as easily to, to duplicate as the first time through if somebody has done something really or, great and really grandiose. Or is affordable. Yeah, or is affordable. <laughs> crack, crack, crack. Right. crack. Right. Yeah, I've been I've been going through that um, in the videos and discussing that while well, those ideas are great to, get, to give you um, inspiration, they're not necessarily the end all and be all of your planning because, like you said. It may not be doable, it may not be affordable, and so those are all the things that you need to take into consideration. Yeah. Well, lots of clients right now, what I'm finding out is that uh, it's a do-it-yourselfer kind of thing, too. It's yeah, that's very big right now. Yeah, that's a very big trend. So, uh, what's your second uh, part in this whole Well, uh, I think it's really important to select a date. Uh, you need to know what your date range is. Sometimes uh, venues are booking up upwards of a year, maybe even two years in advance if it's a very popular location. Right. Um, for us, we have uh, a lots of opportunities to put locations wherever you want it, and we can adjust to your date. Okay. You know, so uh, typically it's weekends, but uh, you need to look a year in advance at least to find your place that you want to be. Right. So in my video series, I'm actually starting uh, this whole process with um, the venue because I do think that that's kind of a big, huge mm -hmm. foundation block in in planning your event or your wedding. And so starting with the venue, uh, getting your date set mm -hmm. is the great place to start. And then moving on to all the things that supplement right. that, like uh, wedding rentals. So, right, right. okay, fantastic. Um, your third tip was? Well, it's uh, now that you've selected, you have a vision, you've got a date, what is your location? Yeah. You know, is it, is it, uh, is it uh, XYZ uh, location here in, in whatever county, Washington? Is it in mom's backyard? Is it in grandma's backyard? Is it at a state park? Right. Um, there's people are doing a lot of things that are doing very casual. I find that things are getting very casual. They're at state parks. They're, they're doing chairs. They're not necessarily doing big tents and things like that. But there's, okay. there's every, every uh, um, how would you put it, every... Uh, Opportunities. Yeah, well, there, well, there's everything in between, from, uh, right, from, right, grandiose, from grandiose to the very, to, to the, the very, very, simple. very simple and minimal. Yeah, you know? and that's what happens when you're dealing with a lot of do-it-yourself or people Type. as well. Mm -hmm. The girls, yeah, the girls that like to do all that stuff themselves, which I think is like amazing, but also can be just uh, such an overwhelming task. Mm -hmm. So, well, you know, locations is a beautiful thing is that we have venue can bring it to your location, and that's one of the positive things that we can do. And then it fits in with that vision Absolutely. as well. Oh, Absolutely. Okay. Fantastic. So your fourth tip was? You know what your budget is. <laughs> That's figure huge. Out, figure out what your budget yeah. is. Um, I'm a big fan of, of um, providing quotes for my clients. And I always recommend is throw in the kitchen sink. Throw everything in there. Everything that you can possibly consider, 
let's get the big number out of the way, let's get the shock value out of the way, and then let's determine what it is that we have to have. And so by sending a, a quote that might have a few extra things, a few more extra things that uh, um, you may not have considered, right. and then you can sit down with your family and your fiance and, and whoever to make those decisions you know, with your event planner, and, and determine what you have to have and what you can do without. And then we customize your diet, your order for what you want. Right. So, so going back to that vision, so you might have a vision for this wedding. You get the quotation price for all the rental items that you might need to make that happen. And then you kind of might have to readjust, uh, scale back a little bit to mm -hmm. fit within your budget. And then I think uh, basically planning your budget from the very beginning is the, the number one key mm -hmm. to a successful uh, wedding coordinating right. all the details go with it. So. And you know, to go back on that with that budget is what I, uh, the vision thing mm -hmm. is, is, is now you've selected, maybe you've selected a, beside, a size tent that fits in your yard or grandma's yard. Um, what I like to do is put CAD programs to plug information into that tent to create a floor plan so that you can get your head around what what the space is going to look like, right. and if it and if it works, so that's part of that vision. That's really nice. I mean, is that a, a service that you offer? We that, con yes, yeah. we do computer-aided design of your tent. I actually do venues locations as well. Oh, so we have them all in our. Many of them we build them and we keep them in our, our program, the database, and then we yeah. can and we can uh, pull them up and customize a location for what you want. Wow, that's a fantastic that's awesome. service. I love that. That's mm -hmm. great. <laughs> okay, and your fifth and final tip. Fifth and final is your guest list. Um, That's pretty big. Story. I do a lot of uh, I do a lot of uh, weddings where um, it's it's small uh -huh. and um, uh, family only, and we do other weddings where it's very large, and very grandiose. Um, you know, those those are the things. You know, how how particular you want to get. You know, obviously friends, family. You know that those people need to be involved with it. how how far and wide business associates aunts right. uncles cousins you know that thing people from out of town it's a very uh, it's a moving target really uh, I find here <laughs> is that a lot of people I would say is if they're people from out of town maybe they're not going to show up but lots of people think oh we've never been to Seattle right so traveling <laughs> and getting that so all of a sudden it's right? a destination <laughs> wedding on and you all of a sudden people, right? so you just never know absolutely yes yeah. fantastic well. Uh, my question to you, just because I think it's so important, is what services does Pacific Party Canopies provide besides just your basic table, uh, chair, and linen rentals? Well, again, we do. We will provide your computer-aided design. Which we will come great. to your location to walk the site with you, give you recommendations okay. as to what would fit, okay. how it would fit, and of course with the diagrams and photos that we would share with you via email and, uh, and however... Um, that we would help you make those decisions. Okay. Um, we so a little expertise and guidance. A little bit of right? expertise, a little bit of drawings, and lots of everybody's visual. It's very rare that somebody can can do this and just say, oh yeah, I, I agree, and and uh, and sign off on it. So it's right. nice to have diagrams and things like that that you can understand. Um, we try to make this as simple of a process as possible. Um, we like to, uh, you know. What I do is I build orders off of diagrams, and okay. then then I come back and I plug in all the elements that are off of that diagram. So, from a first service standpoint, you know we'll service this whole area. We'll take care of your, uh, you know, the whole uh, uh, Western Washington from. Okay, so you do travel. Olympia to you know probably Olympia to the border is our is our main area here, but we're out to the islands. We're into Wenatchee. We're all over the place. So we're. Here to help, and we will travel. All right. Have venue, we'll travel. Have venue, we'll thing. travel. <laughs> <laughs> well, fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Jeff, for your yeah. time. We're really hoping that these videos will help the brides, grooms, and couples who are planning events uh, to get all the information and tips that they need to have a successful day. So, thank you for your time. You betcha. We're here to help. So, thank you very much. All right.